Charlie, my algebra test scores are 39, 47, 54, and 79. If I don't pass the next test, I'll be kicked off the cheerleading squad. What grade do you need to pass a course, Rhonda? I need to pass the course with a 60. That's a D minus. What's your average now? Well, to find an average, you take the sum of scores and divide by the number of scores. My sum of scores is 47 plus 54 plus 39 plus 79. That's 219. Next, I divide by the number of scores. That's 4 because I had 4 tests. When I punch that into my calculator, that's 54.75. Well, it looks like you spent too much time practicing your cheerleading. What grade do I need to get on my last test to pass with a 60? The first step in finding an average is to find the sum of scores. But how can I find the sum of scores when I don't know my last test grade yet? Multiply the average you want, which is 60, times the number of scores, which is 5. 60 times 5 equals 300. That's the sum of scores. Now set up an equation. X plus 47 plus 54 plus 39 plus 79 equals 300. Simplify and get X plus 219 equals 300. Subtract 219 from both sides and get X equals 81. Here's a problem for you to practice. Nadine's algebra test scores are 93, 98, 89 and 96. If 90% if an A, what is the lowest score Nadine can get on the final and keep her A? Pause the video while you work. Come back for the answer when you are done. I know. The answer is 74. The sum of scores is 90 times 5 equals 450. The score is 93, 98, 89, and 96 add to 376. 450 minus 376 equals 74. C. You're a smart girl. You can do this if you try. Rhonda, you need to spend more time studying and less time talking to your boyfriend. Yes, Mr. Snee Ively. Charlie is teaching me how to find averages when I don't know one of the scores. I just figured out I need an 81 on the last test to pass your class. Here's a practice problem using variables. The average of four numbers, A, B, C and D is 12. The average of C and D is 6. What is the average of A and B? I can do this. First, find the sum of scores. If the average of the four numbers is 12, then the sum of scores is 12 times 4, which is 48. Next, I find the sum of scores for C plus D. Since their average is 6, their sum of scores is 6 times 2, which is 12. The sum of scores for a plus B equals 48 minus 12. That's a difference of 36. But since I want the average of A and B, I divide by 12. The answer is 18. Now, Rhonda, you can get in on the final if you work hard. Here's another practice problem for you to try. The average of W, X, Y. And Z is 36. The average of W and X is 12. What is the average of Y and Z? Pause the video while you work. When you're done, come back for the answer. I know this one, Mr. Snee Ively. The answer is 60. The sum of W, X, Y, and Z is 36 times 4, which is 144. The sum of W and X is 24. The sum of y and z is 144 minus 24, which is 120. Because there are two terms, divide 120 by 2 and get 60. Very good, Charlie. Here is one more practice problem. The average of E, F, G, and H is 100. The average of G and H is 25. What is the average of E and F? Pause the video while you work. When you are done, come back for the answer. I can do this. It's 175. The sum of E, F, G, and H is 100 times 4 or 400. The sum of G and H is 50. The sum of E and F is there for 350 and the average is 350 divided by 2 is 175. It looks like you'll pass Mr. Snee Ively's test and stay on the cheerleading squad after all.